Welcome to the Bonita Guitar Channel. We are here with Nita Strauss and with Jen Madura. And today we're not going to talk about gear, we're not going to talk about guitar playing in general, but we want to talk about a very sensitive topic, which would be... Our favorite question. Our favorite question. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but maybe we managed to get a different take on that and probably discuss it in, a, in an honest and more thorough way. And this is what it is like playing an instrument that is mainly connotated with male adjectives in a world of men and how it feels like, what are the problems, what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages. And maybe we start off just by talking a little bit about how did you come to pick up the guitar? What made you choose the guitar over another instrument? Well, I started out playing the drums and I was no good at it. Mm -hmm. you, know, and the, I, you know, and as I was getting better, then I took apart the drum set to take it to a friend's house to try to jam. And I thought, this is not for me. <laughs> like, never again. And uh, so I switched to bass and I, was nev I never had the mind for bass. It just didn't click for me. And then uh, when I saw the movie Crossroads, I saw Steve Vai at the end. Immediately it clicked in my head, that's what I'm going to do with the rest of my life. And mm -hmm. that is what I have done. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. How about you? So I started out playing the piano first. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know, it wasn't really rocking. So like you said, it didn't click. So yeah. at the age of six, seven, I picked up a guitar and I was like, oh, I want to play electric guitar. Mm -hmm. I never went to play classical guitar. Never I don't tried even own it. an acoustic. You don't I even own one. an acoustic one? Mm -mm. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't even own one. I've, I've you know, there's one at my house now, and it's my mom's. Sweet. Like, and she's, you know, my mom is is moving. She goes, you want to keep this at the house? You know, do you want this? And I'm like, I guess if you're going to get rid of it. Like, it's <laughs> sitting at the house, and every once in a while, I play some extreme for Josh on it. But <laughs> that's, a, that's the only use it ever gets. Yeah. And I never wanted to play anything else. Mm -hmm. I, of course, you, you learn, like, playing the bass and, and some other sure. instruments as well. But it was always the passion was guitar, electric okay. guitar. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think in music, it's... We, we probably have a gender debate, but probably not as strong as in, in, in other professional areas. I mean, there are certain instruments with, which have probably more female connotation, like playing the flute, and if you think That's of... That's what he said. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I didn't, I mean, I meant the real flute. And she. <laughs> of course, yeah. And um, I think when it comes to playing acoustic guitar or being a singer-songwriter or playing the violin you don't you don't have the, this discussion and I I was always wondering why are there certain instruments where probably more male or more female gravitate to do you have an explanation for that no. I mean you know I, I think a, a big part of it is maybe that there's a stereotype in in the world within the music industry and outside the music industry that women in rock music are treated really badly mm -hmm. and you know and it's it's a stereotype that I and Jen and many other women like us are really trying to smash that stereotype yeah. because you know if you're a woman and you play an instrument and you play it well and you you know you show up and you don't expect anyone to carry your equipment and you don't expect anyone exactly. to do anything for you do any favors you show up on time you're a professional you have a good work ethic no one's going to treat you differently you know it's exactly. only people that come in expecting special treatment they get that special treatment in a negative connotation and yes. mm. i've really found that to be true with that throughout my whole career you know i've been touring since the age of 15 and never in my life you know has anyone you know, I mean, of course, people every once in a while will talk down or, you know, make little comments, but by and large, no one has really treated me really poorly just being a female because I come in as a musician. And, yeah. You know, yeah. that's all it takes. Yeah, absolutely. I have nothing to add. Yeah. I agree. 100%. I mean, sometimes, um, for example, you go into festivals and you, you come on stage and then there's this local stagehand who's like, oh, shall I help you with connecting mm -hmm. the cables? And it's like, no. Because mm -hmm. I know what I'm doing, I'm a pro, yeah. and I can do that by myself. I don't need any help. And I always think it, gender doesn't matter for me personally, and probably for you too. Mm -hmm. It's like we're all musicians trying to deliver our best and do yeah. our best and do be passionate about the music that we that we play. And it doesn't matter if you're like a girl or a boy or a skunk or whatever. <laughs> exactly. yeah. It doesn't matter. Exactly. I mean, one thing you hear a lot is like um, it's got something to do with with a pure muscular strength. 
But then on the other side, the first thing you get... No. The, the <laughs> I first, think I have more muscle than most of the guy guitar players I know. <laughs> yeah, I think the first thing you get taught at school is when you're playing that you, you shouldn't use that you much force anyway. You shouldn't use too much of an attack. So you know, exactly. Your strings are going to bend This, this two, is yeah. definitely not the point. It's got nothing no. to do with men having more muscles than women. No, absolutely it's not. Have you like seen that. most men guitar players? They have no muscles. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, so skinny. Yeah, that's yeah. why I like yeah. guitar players date drummers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah because that's how you have you have, you, have, you, have, you have the power muscles and you have the, the fine muscles which are two totally different beasts. Yeah, know. the fine motor skill and the large motor skill yeah. is a completely different thing, you know. There are some guitar players like Kane Roberts who have a lot of muscles and a lot of dexterity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but not everyone's like that, you know. If you look at, uh, you know, John Petrucci, you know, is in really, really good shape. Zach Wilde's in really good shape. But then if you look at, you know, Satriani and Vi, the undisputed kings, yeah. you know, they're not going to be in any fitness magazines. Yeah. Yeah. But, Paul Gilbert, you know, too. Paul Gilbert, yeah. you know, they're, it's not like they're not in shape. They're just not, you know, super muscular dudes, right, right. you know, mm -hmm. and, and no one's disputing how incredible Steve Vai and Paul Gilbert are, yeah. you know what I mean? Absolutely. I probably also thought about the thing that if you, if, if you grab an instrument, you don't have an, um, an, an audible association to it. You also have a visual thing you have like you see yourself you imagine yourself you visualize yourself holding the instrument and probably it's like you have to find yourself attractive seeing yourself holding that instrument mm -hmm. and I sometimes I think that I mean I don't think if I would feel myself attractive as a man holding a flute <laughs> and, and that's a little more dainty <laughs> do you think that's that there could be something about that just a woman can't feel attractive when she's playing the drums, I feel but she can feel attractive playing something fine and more aesthetic. Nah, I've always felt awesome with the guitar, you know, and yeah. it's a kind of rebellious behavior, you know, yeah. playing an electric guitar is like a statement. Yeah. And I've always liked that attitude. Yeah. But definitely. maybe it's, it's also like that, uh, it's a social thing that certain adjectives have a male or a female connotation. I mean, being aggressive, being rambunctious, being mm -hmm. rude, being like playing with balls, mm -hmm. this has, for sure, has male connotation, mm. and probably some. I mean, probably to me, you are or also Annie Canillis, You are, in a way, ambassadors of your, of your gender, and yeah, you you, yeah. you can you have the power to encourage young girls. And I really, um, I'd, I'd really subscribe to the fact that there should be much more female guitar players, much more female drum players. Yeah. And um, yeah, what do you think about that? I think just, you know, there's, let's look at, you know, you remember the great cat? Yes. The guitar player, yeah, like you know, she's like wild and in your face, giving the little yeah, finger, and vulgar, you know, sitting, yeah. you know, it's like you know, on, <laughs> cursing on TV, yeah. and, you know, all this stuff. And you can be like that, but look at Jen and I. We're sitting here, with our legs normal. crossed, yeah. proper, yeah. you know, having a normal conversation yeah. And, yeah. and behaving very behaving well. Behaving very <laughs> well indeed. Pinky out. <laughs> you know, like, but you know that doesn't. When we get on stage, you know, you don't have to be ladylike all the time you know exactly. you, can, you can go crazy you can walk out and, and be crazy yeah. and mm. still have class and you know exactly be a good example for a younger generation of girl guitar players they you know and i love the great cat like i don't mean this at all to be that <laughs> she is not amazing and awesome and i watch her youtube videos more than i do you know the the classier more normal guitar players because she's so amazing and her playing is yeah. so amazing bloody vivaldi like right but you don't have to be like class you know you can you can con conduct yourself the way that you want to and still be a aggressive, rambunctious, or, you know, over-the-top guitar player. Yeah, yeah. Well, I agree, again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but um, have you ever been confronted with the accusation of, I mean, I think women have it harder for a certain part, yeah. but maybe they also have it easier on another part because you let women get away with less? Not I mean, that's not my personal not, thought, but that's some I mean, accusations you, you sometimes yes, see. Yeah. That's true. If we come to the point of talking about emancipation, if we really reach that point where it's really happening, that would be that you don't have to point out the gender. Mm -hmm. That would be something I wish for our future, that it's not, oh, the female guitar player. Nobody says the male guitar player or, oh, that band has a male drummer, right? Yes. Yeah. So if we really make it to the point that, like I said before, the gender doesn't matter, what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> no, probably that women get away with less because you you don't expect that much. There are, but, I, I think mean, there I think are women. You should expect the same. It's changed I mean, during the last four it's or changed. five years. It's yeah. changed dramatically. Yeah. Yeah. More yes. and more female guitar players. Yeah. The bar has drummers. been raised. Yeah. yeah. The bar has Finally. been raised. And, uh, 
and you know it's I think you find it in a lot of you know if you look at Instagram let's take let's take to Instagram as the example you see beautiful girls on Instagram that have millions of followers and they do nothing yes they do absolutely nothing they just yeah. sit there and look beautiful yeah. and they get paid and they get you know True. vacations and you know people send them free stuff yep. and it's you know in, throughout history, women have used their feminine, their femininity to get things, you know, right. and uh, and of course, you know, the the pioneer female guitar players, the one that the ones that paved the way for Jen and myself yeah. and exactly. Orianthi and Neely Brosh and everybody, you know, they weren't necessarily the super shredders, you know, they weren't, you know, they they weren't the ones that were going in and saying, look at my technique, you right. know, like if you look at Joan Jett and Lita Ford and Hart, like. They're the trailblazers. They're the ones that made it possible for us to come in with the stronger technique and the solos and, exactly. and do all that stuff and do what we do. So yeah. it's, you know, there's there's a debt of gratitude there for sure. And you know, there's of course that is not to say that Joan Jett and Lita Ford skated by on their looks because they certainly didn't. They had yeah. more attitude and more balls than anybody. Yeah, right. You know? agree. Yeah. But but I think it's just important now in 2018 to have everything, to have a strong image, to have strong performance, strong mm. technique, and uh, and good outlook and good work ethic. You have to have the total package in 2018 yep. or you'll not survive. Mm. Yep. True. Agreed. Because no one's gonna <laughs> no one's gonna get away with it now. Yeah. There's you know like now there's there's YouTube. You know like I can never have a bad show. You can never have a bad show. Right. Like your technique has to speak for itself. If I get off stage and have a bad show, it's not those fifteen hundred people that no, see it. No, it's the world. The world sees every yeah. show you play, every yeah. note that you play. So there's yeah. there's no room in this day and age for mediocre guitar playing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it became quite cruel because everything you do is a world premiere. Yes. Everybody is putting everything on yep. YouTube. That's what Pat Metheny said. Yeah, right, absolutely. And I think also when it comes to taste, taste is a very absolute thing. You don't, I mean, if you if you listen to music, there's not, this is good for whatever. I mean, it's good or it's not good. It's, mm -hmm. it's not, it's, when I listen to music, I don't, I don't care about the gender, the age, the color, the size, the nationality, whatever. I, I like it or I like it not. And the yeah. looks is something that maybe adds to it later, but yeah, maybe definitely. you should people should learn to be more objective and just think about do I like it or, or don't. do I not like yeah. it? Yeah. And for the same for the same thing, you don't want someone to support you and like you only because you're a female guitar player. Yeah. Exactly. As as flattering as it is for someone to say I will I want to buy this because there are, I want there to be more women in heavy metal. That's really flattering, but you want to make something that stands on its own, you know, and not just this is good for a girl. Yeah. Right? Good. I think the age of good for a girl is over. Okay, cool. Do you have one final message that you want to send out to the young girls who probably hesitate playing guitar or playing drums. They have some self-doubt and think... Keep rocking and believe in yourself. That's, that's the most important thing, believe in yourself. Because even though there are so many guys out there playing guitar, you can do it. Just always believe in yourself. Yeah, definitely chills. <laughs> 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 definitely, you know, but, you know, the days of there not being female guitar players are over. You know, when I yes. was a young guitar player and I was going to the Whiskey and the Roxy in LA playing shows, you know, someone would always ask me if I was carrying my boyfriend's guitar case or like, hey, you know, you can't have the girlfriends up yeah. here in the, you know, in the dressing room, only the band members. And I, I have know, to, exactly. I'd have to open the door and show them the flyer with my picture on it. No, I'm in the band. I, I get to stay. Like, no one can kick me out of this. This is my dressing room. And, uh, and those days are over. It's not, right. it's not unheard of to be a female guitar player anymore. When you walk into a music shop, people don't ask you who you're buying a gift for anymore, yes. which has happened to me, mm. you know. So I think, the, you know, you have all the resources, you have all the opportunities, you have everything that you need. Just don't ever put yourself in the box of being a female guitar player and just be the best and strongest guitar player that you can be. Okay, Nita and Dan, thanks for your candid words. Thank you for having us. I also encourage every girl to play a guitar because there is no gender in music at all. I mean, everything has its advantages. So stay tuned. See you soon. I mean, you know, I, I think a, a big part of it is maybe that there's a stereotype in, in the world within the music industry and outside the music industry that women in rock music are treated really badly. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and it's, it's a stereotype that I and Jen and many other women like us are really trying to smash that stereotype yeah. because, you know, if you're a woman and you play an instrument and you play it well and you, you know, you show up and you don't expect anyone to carry your equipment and you don't expect anyone exactly. to do anything for you, do you any favors, you show up on time, you're a professional, you have a good work ethic, no one's going to treat you differently. You know, it's exactly. only people that come in